And that's uh, Bryce Penn warming up, of course, for the World Championship, looming up rapidly now. Hello. In a couple of weeks' time there at Bradford. Here we go then, all eyes on Mr. Son and Mickey Boulder this evening to get this Kingsley meeting underway. Brisker Formula 1 stock cars are away we go, super shall we here at Kingsley. And 413 then, one of the early casualties, Matt Bennett usually goes particularly well here at Saddlebow Road, not doing so well in the early stages of this one. A couple of tyres on the track up there on the one, Chris. Great to see this gaggle and a brisker fall on stock cars. A couple of tyres just come out. Sixteen Bugsy Newsome on his uh, local shell circuit. Bugsy from Norwich. They're not going to be winning this one. We're going to pick up the uh, race leader as they come down the home straight away. It is 4.07 then. That uh, man in the lead, which is Craig Smith. 4.07 being followed by 3.07 Tim Warwick. Tim Warwick about to be past those two tyres up there. On that turn one, causing a problem, but gradually they're getting spearheaded away and out towards that safety fence. There's your leader, 407, Craig Smith, 307, Tim Warwick and 412, all low there in that first spot. Then we got 215, Jeff Nichols. And it looks as though it's Dave Johnson leading the blue pack through in around about fourth spot. Everyone chasing down the race leader is 407, Craig Smith. 307, Tim Warwick and 410, Paul Lowe. 383, Dave Johnson, 215, Jeff Nichols. And 97, Murray Harrison getting into the action for the first time. He's followed through by number one, Peter Foley. Ian Platt, 77, next bet. The race leader already setting a scorching pace at the head of affairs then. Craig Smith it is in the 407 car. Going down the back straight, cool and careful around turns three and four. We're already coming through and he's halfway next time, Mr. Sutter, halfway next time. The action, fast and frantic then, a tired electrifying stuff from the Brisker Formula 1 stock cars. No doubt about it, you can definitely see just why they enjoy so much the Super Show way here at Kings Lane. Craig Smith then still leading. Still leading on through and it's Dave Johnson 383 in that second spot. He's ahead of 97. Murray Harrison. The leader in trouble off turn four and that certainly cost him some vital yardage then. Craig Smith going through the chicane there made by those tyres on turn one. Could we have a change up front? Dave Johnson comes zipping through down that back straight away and takes it over. It's 383, 407 and 97. One, Peter Bowling at 77, Ian Platt. We're running through to the checkered flag. Five, next time, five, next time, Mr. Starter. Dave Johnson then dominating this one. As we come through to the five lap board, who's coming through his second spot? It could well be in his 97, Murray Harrison, Craig Smith, 407, finding the pace a little bit too hot. He gives way to Peter Folding, who moves through into third. 77, Ian Platts in fifth spot, ready to charge through. He comes through in that four. The race leader then over the start, finishing the line again. It's 383, Dave Johnson, still ahead of Murray Harrison and Peter Folding. What a scrap, we're going to have a cracker jack finish on the rounds here, I fancy. Briscoe Formula 1, stock cars, heat one. Kingsley Stadium, part two of the Formula One visit to Norfolk. Three lap more than out this time, it's still Dave Johnson, 383. 97, Murray Harrison and one, Peter Falling, they're pulling clear of 77, Ian Platt. Craig Smith still clinging on to that uh, fifth place first. 
ahead of Jeff Nichols. And 17, John Kayser. Two lap more than L this time. From your starter is Dave Johnson with that battle art marker. Will it hold his progress? Not too untoward. He's still got some 20 or 30 meters start. 383 leading 97 and 1. The last lap board out this time, and the leader is being pressurized now. Dave Johnson, 383. He's beginning to come under attack from Murray Harrison and Peter Folding. Are we going to get a Peter Folding last lap lunge? Is he too far adrift? Tom will tell Johnson's got it. 383, and Murray Harrison coming right through. Is the path going to be clear for Folding? Three way battle to the line. Oh, Dave Johnson gets it. 383. Dave Johnson takes it. A crackerjack finish from 97, Murray Harrison. And one, Peter Folding. Kim coming, Mr. Sada. Kim coming. Reds, Mr. Sada, on that circuit. Reds are on that circuit. Whittaker, Mark Whittaker, could you please go to the start and finishing line as soon as possible? Mark Whittaker. I'm not quite sure if Dave Johnson's doing that uh, lap of honour or just going back to the <laughs> here at Kingsley Saddlebar Road Stadium. It's fine, sunny, sunny evening, Sunday evening. The ring flag goes and away we go. Rip roar in action then. Rock and roll time. Brisker Paul and stock cars. We just lost uh, one car in those uh, early skirmish, four, uh, 14, Roger Bromley. What a tremendous sight then, these Brisker Formula 1 stock cars are displaying here at Kings Lynn tonight in this Heat 2 race. Quite some spectacle, breathtaking in fact. It's Paul Cocker then, the local man himself. Currently leading 507 and 116, Kevin Clare then coming to grips with each other out of turn four. Neil Smith then and Kevin Clare that was. There's your leader there still, Paul Corker forcing the pace. Chris Cook in lead 460, he's in second spot. And it looks as though John Lund has picked up a tyre rather unfortunately there for the 53 car. He's got to back off and go away, you know. He's certainly got some chasing to do. Meanwhile, your race leader is 141, Paul Corker, heading down that back straightaway, pulling out quite a considerable lead from 460, Chris Cook. 3.43, Barry Heath in, in the third spot. First of the Reds is 73, Rob Pelley at 2.50, Kid Chambers. Junior Wayman in round about six spot. But he's still Paul Corker. Can we have a Norfolk victory? This is what we want to see. Good displays from the Norfolk drivers in their own locality. Really give the sport a big shot and boost in the arm. 141, 343, 73. That's the way the race is unfolding. We're coming through to half next time. This is not a half next time. Come on, Corky, see if you can cling on to the checkered flag. 141, 343, 73. And 515. Paul Corker then trying desperately to cling on to that lead. Just wavering slightly, but he's still there, still forcing the pace, forcing the pack in. Coming through, 5-1-5, Junior Wayman into that second spot. Oh, Paul Corker then nearly over to the end of turn four. Certainly cost him the leadership. As first, uh, Junior Wayman comes through, then Rob Cowley. Barry Heath, though, having a jump. Paul Corker fights off the 3-1-3 uh, three three car. 3-4-3 three three car of Barry Heath. Race leader then, 5-1-5, Junior Wayman. Running through to the checkered flag in earnest. Five next time, it's the start of five this time through. 
Junior Weaver, 515, 73, Rock Cowley. And 371, there in that further, Shane Dole. Shane Dole just fending off uh, the attacks from uh, the 343 of Barry Heath. Looks as though we've got 400 next best. Jim Clinton and 1414. Corker still there, 212, Frankie Wayman. 515 then is through and at the head of a pack, but he still can't shake off the attention of 73, Rob Kelly. Matt Bennett in uh, 20, or Matthew Gilback in 21 uh, between the uh, lead cars. It's still 515, Junior Wayman. Now beginning to assert his authority as they run through. The lap charts, two laps to go this time, it's 515, Junior Wayman. 73, Rob Kelly coming through in third. It's 371, Shane Dole, Barry Heath, 343, 400, Jim Conlon, 212. Junior Wayman, 1414, Corker. 53, John Lund. Oh, Paul Corker then spins it on the turn two. He was going exceptionally well, but the race leaders are now through and on that last lap. Your race leader is 515, Junior Wayman. A couple of back markers to contend with on turns three and four. Not letting his seat remain in cool and control. Up to the checker flag. Junior Wayman takes the honor. Briscoe for large stock cars, he too. Following a junior home was 73, Rob Kelly. And then 371, Shane Dahl. Keep him coming, Mr. Sada, keep him coming. Reds, Mr. Sada, on the circuit. Reds, Mr. Sada, on the circuit. There's 21 there. Mark Gilbank takes to the air down the home straight away. Keith Chambers then, the solitary red grey driver in this Briscoe Formula 1 consolation here at Kingsley Stadium. We're going to be off and running very, very shortly. All eyes on Mr. Starter, set the race alight, and we've got the automatic green. Oh, here we go. Don't forget that we're looking for the first 10 in this consolation. Plenty of action off turn four, the cars clattering about right around the circuit. Andre Zhang there doing very well to correct that slide. One four, one four. Corker heavily involved in that skirmishes. So we're looking for the race leader this time, and it is Paul Lowe in 410 leading. 41. Paul Lowe in 4-1-0 from 10 of 48. So then this uh, Briscoe Formula 1 consolation race yet to be set really alive. 4-1-0 your race leader from uh, 48 there in the second spot. Change up front then as 48 comes through. 48 now, your new race leader, having passed Paul Lowe out of turn two and down that back straightaway. The lead car over the start and finish line. It's 48 then, leading 4 0 from number nine, Keith Neville. Neil Scotland in 48, it is setting this uh, race alight. Just spot his name there on the uh, back side of his car, and well, we know what it is. Neil Scotland, 48. Still leading 4-1-0, and Neil Scotland's got problems then down that back straightaway. Now being repassed by 4-1-0, Paul Lowe, who regains the lead, regains the initiative halfway down that back straightaway to take up the running. Risk of 4 one stock cars, consolation race. Nine, Keith Neville getting right into the frame as well. 16 as well, John Kayser. 410, 16, 9 and 21, Mr. Starter. 410, 16, 9 and 21. There's your leader. 
So it's Bugsy Newsom there in second time. Halfway this time, Mr. Starter, halfway this time. That battle raging up front. Bugsy Newsom then from Norwich. Don't see too much of him. And that winning Russell doing exceptionally well. Here at Kingsland tonight on his local shell town. Paul Lowe leading. Bugsy Newsom in second spot. Near followed but through by 21, Mark Gilbank. Mark Gilbank then. Uh, Oh, it looks as though we've got a couple of cars a lot together. It's certainly we've got some changes up front. It's not in the lead for the minor places. Paul Lowen fighting that car to come through. 17 it is now moves through into the second spot. That's John Kayser. Oh, indeed, in fact, are oh, we going to have a change up front? 4 1 0 still leading John Kayser. Paul Lowen leading John Kayser. Bugsy Newsom 16 in third, and then Keith Neville 5 next time. This is not a 5 next time. 410, 17, 16, and 9. Oh, and cars too wide, that is, coming uh, off that safety barrier and onto the relative safety of the safety ring. 17 then now, John Kayser hit that front. 17 leads, 4 no, Paul Lowe, and further back on the spot, Keith Chambers, the solitary red grade driver on the circuit, now moving swiftly through into third. Meanwhile, it's John Kayser in 17, leading 4 1 0, Paul Lowe. Keith Chambers, 2 5 0, still there in third. Keith Neville has now got past Bootsy Newsom in car number 16. That's a good scrap going on, and Keith Neville then coming to grief, and down now on turn two. All systems go, though, Brisk and Paul will stop our consolation. We're looking for the first at ten places home to reach that grand final. Just checking on the lap boards, it looks as though we've got two this time from uh, your starting marshal. Two laps to run, John Kayser leads, 17. From uh, 250, they're now pulling clear of 410 Paul Lowe. So we could still yet have a close finish here as the last lap board will be shown this time. A John Kayser now pulling out and establishing what could well be and looks like a race winning lead with one lap to go. 17 then, John Kayser just missing that tyre up there on turns one and two. He accelerates down that back straight away. Looks as though he's got it safely in the bag, barring major accidents, he's going to win it. John Kayser takes the Briscoe Formula 1 consolation. Keith Chambers comes through in that second spot. Keeping going great to see the brisk of four wheels. They've certainly uh, sorted this circuit out now. Red, something, Mr. Sada, please. Uh, Reds, if you please. Behind, please keep behind the safety barriers. Please keep behind the safety barriers. Stand by for blast off then. The action about to unfold. Briska follow on Stockholm Grand Final here at Kingsley in this evening. That green immediately comes into play. It's all systems go. What a sight that we've got around the circuit now. Last off in a big way, Neil Smith, 507, one of the early casualties, with your race leader in the very early stages, 460. Chris Cook. Great stuff then, what an absolutely thrilling sight this is, the Briscoe Formula 1 stock cars in full flight and just look at that up there on turns 3 and 4, really sorting the men out from the boys there, 343 Barry Heath there and see, he's one car in there but he looks okay. They all look okay, great stuff then. Race on wave yellows, race on wave yellows. Woo, the action coming very, very quickly indeed then. <laughs> New Zealand preparing for that uh, Formula One NZ7. 
Here we go then, all eyes on Mr. Sutter, all the cars are up and running, we've got greens then, and here we go, what a session we've got, our Brisker Formula 1 stock car grand final here at Kings Lynn. Absolutely spectacular sight. Superb stuff then from the Formula 1s, and just look at the breathtaking way they're negotiating turns 1 and oh, 3 and 4, and the heading is hurtling down the... Uh, and straight away. This is what we've come to see love from the Brisker Formula 1 stock cars. When the circuit is right and they're right, what a fantastic sight it is. Just look at the way they're hurtling down that back straight into turns 3 and 4. Makes you wonder just how they actually get around the circuit. It's going to be great stuff then as this race unfolds. Still very much, of course, in its infancy. That race leader then is 410 to Paul Lowe. From 116, Kevin Clare at 16, Woodsy Newsom. Change up front there now because it looks as though 116, Kevin Clare has struck the front. Woodsy Newsom finding the pace too hot. He's dropping right back. It's Kevin Clare then, 116, 410, Paul Lowe. 97 Murray Harrison, 250 Keith Chambers, 77 Ian Platts and the Reds are already breaking ranks and coming towards that race lead. Looking back and see um, Peter Falling on the charge, Junior Wayman and John Lund. There's your leader, Kevin Clare, 116. All low in the 410 car in that second berth. And then we've got the first of the Reds. It looks as though. It's uh, 97, Murray Harrison who moves through into second spot. He takes Paul Lowe out there and left the gate open. For oh, Keith Chambers to come through and here plus as well. Peter Foley right over the pace in this one in car number one. And 53, John Lund beginning to make his presence fold as well. Switching our attention to the race lead. This is it. It's still Kevin Clare, Murray Harrison. Kevin Clare, clearing the pace, finding the pace a bit too hard, and that's left the initiative to 97, Murray Harrison to take up the lead. Here's a race leader off at turn four, down to that start finishing line. It's Murray Harrison from Keith Chambers. Kevin Clare still there in that third place, probably on sufferance. That's Peter Foley in car number one, comes screaming through into that third berth. Great stuff to see, and what a climax we've got. The leader's gone. The leader's gone. Half next time. Murray Harrison makes a complete hash of that. That's left the way clear for Keith Chambers to hit the front. Head of number one, Peter Foley. Foley puts the bumper in on turns three or four. Tries to shift. Keith Chambers high, wide, and answer. Does he succeed? Indeed, he does. Going into turn one. We're going to get some great stuff then because the red grey drivers are beginning to gather together and now that show us. We're all chasing the world and European champion Peter Folding, number one, he's through. 250, Pete Chambers in second and 53, John Lundy's now in third. 505, Junior Wayman coming onto the uh, lap charts for the first time in that fourth position. He's ahead of 77, Ian Platt. The leader through that is Folding. Falling, Chambers, Lund, Junior Wayman, Platts, Rob Kelly. That's the way the race is unfolding. Murray Harrison, 97, back in the running as well. There's the leader then, Peter Falding through. From Keith Chambers and John Lund in 53. Peter Falding looking very good and decisive now in this Briscoe Formula 1 Grand Final at, Skegna, at uh, Kings Lynn this evening. It's folding. Five next time, Mr. Starter. Five next time for your leader, number one, Peter Foley. He's pulling out a quite substantial and could well be a race winning lead. Keith Chambers still there in second spot ahead of John Lund and Judy Weymouth closing right up. John Lund then couldn't resist putting the bumper in on Keith Chambers that time. He moves through into that second spot. But Peter Folding then absolutely flying through now as the uh, four lap to go board comes out. Junior Wayman moves through into third spot. 
ahead of Keith Chambers, chasing John London second. These three close together, packed together, chasing Peter Foley in car number one, who's got the home, uh, home, home straight to his advantage now. Very decisive win then, uh, or it could be a win if he keeps going. The two lap board coming out from Peter Foley in car number one. Let's see what a lead he's got. He's extending that lead over John London, 53, 5 on 5, Junior Wayman. Keith Chambers hanging on doggedly to that four spotters. Yet, can't do anything to reel those three leaders in. It is folding then in car number one. They guess the one lap to go board. Great stuff then from uh, Peter Folding. He's roaring down that back straight. Negotiating turns three and four for the last time. Check a flat tire for Peter Folding takes the Briscoe Formula One Grand Final. John Lund, 53 in second at a very respectable distance of 515. Junior Wayman finished ahead of Keith Chambers and 77 Ian Platts and 97 Murray Harrison. Woo, wowie, great stuff from those Brisker Formula One boys. Reds on the circuit, Mr. Starter, Reds on that circuit. Racing of the very highest calibre and quality. Peter Folding is a star sign, a well deserved lap of honour. Let's go Formula 1 stock cars and away we go then. Big folding from that one lap handicap, Valley pulling back. Oh, uh, the uh, race leader 16, Bugsy Newsom, they're nearly coming to grief under that attack from 460, Chris Cook. Paul Lowe in 410 going to. Uh, Runs here with Paul Corker in 1.41. Paul Corker not enjoying the best of fortunes on his local track. Race rain unfolding once more to rapid rate of knots and that race leader is 16 Buzzy Newsom then. Oh, and tyres flying and being collected round there. It's Scott in 48. Booksy Newsom then in car number 16, trying to reel off a local Norfolk victory. Booksy Newsom it is, 16, he's at the head of affairs, coming off. The circuit is big break, Paul Corker, 141, just getting back on the race lane, just ahead of him. He's 16 then, he's there. Uh, 53, John Lund already through, leading the red charge, and that can mean Bugsy Newsom's life at the head of the race. He's very, very quickly going to be eroded. That's exactly what it is. It's 53 then leading. 515, Junior Wayman in that second spot. Here's your leader, 53, John Lund, 515, 73, Rob Pally, 16, Booksy Newsom. Still there, oh, we got a problem up there on turns one and two. Booksy Newsom then collects that stranded car, but the leaders, apart from 16, Booksy Newsom, all got through. That race now being headed by 53, John Lund, 515 and 73, and he's half next time, half next time. John Lund then setting sail towards the chequered flag as we come to the second half of this race, denoted by the Union Jack. It's 53, 515, 73, 212, 97. John Lund then really bouncing his way along that uh, back straightaway, nearly overcooking things on turns three and four. 
he corrected that slide and he's making uh, his way towards the chequered flag but not really uh, negotiating the terms all that cleverly. It's 53, John Lund building up and establishing uh, what could well be a race, a winning position now. John Lund takes it 5 1 5 and 73, Rob Kelly. 5 this time, this is not a 5 this time. In fourth place is Frankie Wayman, just ahead of 97, Murray Harrison. Those roles reverse then. Now that back straight away. 53 then, John Lund still there, still retaking the pace from the front. At this moment in time, it doesn't look as though Jimmy Wayman can close the race leader down. He'll be trying in the last of four laps or so. John Lund then. Certainly enjoyed his visit to Norfolk, picked up a win at Swaffham. It looks as though he's going to do the same here at Kings Lynn. Paul Cork are coming to grief up there on at turns three and four. John Lund then, going ever to ever. Jimmy Wayman certainly beginning to feel the pace and he's not making any impression whatsoever. It's certainly all one-way traffic because after John Lund and after Judy Wayman, the rest of the field has strung out like last week's washing. One lap to go then for John Lund and victory. 53, 5, 1-5 at a respectable distance. 73, Rob Clowney clinging on to third spot ahead of 97, Murray Harrison and Frankie Wayman. It's all about John Lund now in this one. He's going to win the Grand National. John Lund takes the checker flag in car number 53 at a 5-1-5, Junior Wayman. Reds, Mr. Starter, Reds on the circuit. Reds on the circuit, please. Ways to see John Lund in winning vein. As we say, then the next session of stock car racing here at Kings Lynn is in three weeks' time, Sunday, October the second. Brisker Formula One's National Saloon Stocks and National Bangers as well, just for good measure. Even more earlier than that, on Wednesday evening. We've got National Saloon Stock Cars headlining the meeting at Skegness with stop rods. Each and every Wednesday evening until the end of October at Skegness. John Lund then on that victory lap of honour. Still just deciphering 